we're kind of going back to our roots in a sense. We're going back to having a focus on developing networks where a group of schools and districts come together and tackle the problem of practice and that they learn from one another. But instead of just um, providing uh, curricula or professional learning services, we're helping them learn a process for continuous improvement. And so once SREB is uh, gone from their school or district, they now have a platform or a process by which to continue to improve and to focus on uh, the changes that need to be made to bring about uh, improvement towards student outcomes. The 10 key practices are definitely the foundation. And what we know is that, uh, that there's 10 wonderful ideas there, but you don't have to adopt all 10 of them. You really should look at about three, and maybe you can move to five over time. But if you're doing three of them really well, you're gonna change your school. You're gonna get better. And, and sometimes the schools are so um, much in trouble and struggling that we'll, we'll tell them just to try one. Let's, let's just pick one of those key practices and let's focus on that. And then from there we'll build. But uh, definitely the key practices are the foundation. And that's why I think it's so important that SREB is coming back to the, to the 10 key practices. It's just where we, sh it's where we need to be. Making schools work, I think, is a, an ideal term to explain it all. It's that we use the same process at all levels. Elementary, middle, high school, technology center. A way a school goes about doing this may vary from one school to the next, but they go through that process of really looking at what are the things we are doing, how can we learn from others, and then how can we implement practices that get at those core beliefs of, uh, of effort and, and connecting kids to classes, to teachers, giving them purpose. Those key practices still actually let us look at a comprehensive school setting and how everything that we offer, classroom and campus-wide, has an impact on student success. But here's the thing, the 10 key practices provided a wonderful framework that supports a school and then you can bring in all the innovation, creativity, and evidence-based practices. They fit perfectly within those 10 key practices. If you're gonna change your behavior, if you're gonna change what you do, if you're gonna become more effective, if you're gonna improve the outcomes for your students, you can't just talk. You've gotta match your words with your actions. I, I really just wish everybody was brave enough to jump in and see what happens because the kids surprise us, we surprise ourselves, and I think the, the growth that comes from it is worth all the work.